All right. Hey, I'm flying with Alec. He's back for uh, Thanksgiving. And we're going to do a few landings. He's going to do a few VFR landings. I'm going to do a few instrument landings. Both of us to get our currency up. All right. If you want to cut her out to the right a little bit so we can get a little better angle in there. Yeah, I might can do that. Are you doing this one as your instrument? Yeah. Yeah, I'll foggle up at Peg T. We'll just do a low approach. All right. And I'm only going this direction, even though the wind's five knots the other way, just so we don't have to go all the way down and all the way back. Uh, and then whichever runway you want to use up at this next place, that'll be you, this whatever that one okay. is. Herb. Yeah, MRN. Mike Romeo, November. All right, so we're coming in at 3,000. Our first step now will be 2,600. I'm going to get that in. And that'll be at our final approach fix, which is Hassab. And Hassab is two and a half, three and a half, four. Hassab is about five miles out. About three miles from Hassab, I'll make a first call. Hassab will make a five mile call. All right, so yes, I am flying approaches from the right seat. A little bit of a challenge because the seat eyes over on the left, but. Does that iPad block out of this screen at all? Oh, no, it's just in front of the breakers. So if a breaker pops, you'd have no idea. Uh, right. All right, so our minimums are 1,300. And yeah, it tells you right there, barrel min. Uh, barrel min, if I set that, yeah. Mr. Broach, climb to 1380, then climbing right turn. We won't be doing that. We'll just climb straight out and head for our next destination. But you will have to program, because I didn't put them in there. You can only put them in one at a time, other because the approaches only load for the last airport in there. All right, I have the controls. Here are the controls. Return landing light on. All right, there's Peg T, so I'm going to go down to 2600. Pull my power back a little bit. Landing light is on. Close to 10 miles, aren't you? Three miles out with 10 miles. I don't know how you did that, man. Aren't we? Three miles from Zob. Three, four, five, six, seven. It'll put you like eight miles out. All right. All right, I'm going through my altitude here. Let's get that back. Statesville traffic, 526 upstairs, 10 to the east to practice RNAV, 28 be a low approach only, Statesville. Yeah, at Hassab, you're five miles out. All right. right after Hassab, we're going to go to 1760. All right. Coming up on Hassab, so we're going to power back. Full pump, full prop. Rich, get her down to 90. All right, first notch flaps. Faithful traffic, 526, that's there, 5 to the east, practice RNAV for 28 via low approach. Faithful traffic. All right, so we're going to go down to 1760. All right, got a little wind from the right, that's why it keeps pushing me to the left. I don't want excuses. I'm correct. I see new is 2.5 miles out. Okay. Up the runway. All right, there's 18. Hold. 90. Almost dropped her 100 feet before the uh, thing. All right, so we're cleared down to 13. Stateful traffic, 526, does there. 2.5 to the east, practice, hard half, 28, low approach. Stateful. All right, we're at 90, there's 13. Where, where are you? Where's 13 at? Minimum. Where's what? I'm at minimums. Minimum. Oh, that's your minimum. Okay, yeah. Yeah, hey, you're good. You got runway, sorry. Hey, look at that. That wasn't too bad, huh? All right, you want controls? They're out here. Okay, because you got to use the L nav. Right. Because you don't have. I don't have loss. Or, yeah. Gotcha. All right, so. Right, build speed. Flaps coming up. Fuel pump coming off. We're back down to 24. All right, so I, I did get a little bit below my minimums a couple times, but I was on track on my uh, local. A E H O. We're not going Linko. Oh, well, put that's that's the uh, that's the um, initial approach fix. Okay. Yeah, you just gave me the points. I didn't. Uh, it didn't pop up with all the procedures. A H. I just don't. We make sure we don't hit a mountain, and I'll take care yeah, of this. And I think I'm going to try to use the autopilot on this one. Uh, cheater. That's not cheating. Sometimes the autopilot decides to act up. I want to make sure I'm 
Eater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Getting it right, so let's go autopilot. So I have to control the altitude. Very fast. All right, so Linko is 10, 13, and Linko's about 15 out. Oh, so you got your math right this time. About five from, I think I had my math right last time. You did not, I'll pull it over right now. All right, now. look, 2.3 and 2.8 is basically five, right? And then Linko is 9.3, so that's 14. This is the last one. That's 2.5, that'd be five. Five. You said we were eight out here. We're only five out here. So you were going to call three miles out here. I had a seven out there. Yeah, it wouldn't work. It'd be we're a little too close. All right, I'll take a little too close. Well, three uh, miles. Linko is 15, so if I wait till I'm about, or 14, if I wait till I'm about four to five miles from Jarrell, Jarrell, I'll be 10 out. Where are we flying into Shelby? Shel uh, Sh Shelby County. We're five miles out from Jarrell. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I concur with that. And your minimum is 1120. No, it's 1440. 1440. And uh, what, what's your pattern altitude? I don't really care. Yeah, but you know, just in case. Well, the uh, touchdown zone is 847 feet. Airport elevation is 847 feet. So 1850 technically, I'd go 1900. Or CF double I. Uh, say, say you can't land here for some. What, what are you gonna do? Like you get down there and boom, something happens. I'll do Mr. Broach. And, and what is that? I'll climb to 3,000. I'll go direct to Zizug and hold. This is the thing I don't get. Some of these say like fly here, but then I think it's over there. I think it's over there. Now, in our case, the G1000 will, if we unsuspend it, will give us a heading. Yeah, it doesn't give you a heading up here. Right, it just says climb to 3,000 Drake Isaac. So you want you to climb 3,000 and then do a 180. Well, this is a GPS approach. Uh, so they're assuming you have GPS. Gotcha. Hopefully the GPS knows where Isaac is. Uh, matter of fact, I think the last two times I've tried to land with autopilot, either I've screwed something up or something happened and it cut off halfway into the approach. Oh, uh, you say it's cheating, but it's always good to do one or two with all the technology to make sure you're not screwing something up. So I do know when I make this turn at Linko, I'm going to have to switch her to approach mode. And that's about all you got to do. Uh, but then I got to do the altitudes. So my first altitude is going to be 20. Vertical track. 500. I'll go ahead and put that in there. Uh, it will give me vertical track until I really want it. All right, me and the cap. 140 have the controls. Your controls. Cap, cap 140 controls. Right, approach mode is taken. We're going to go down to 2600. Cleveland County Regional Airport. 2013. Right, see, wait a minute. It, it went off of approach mode. It was on approach and it started flashing. It took nav. Why well, won't it take approach? All right, there it took approach. Shelby County traffic, 526 Delta Sierra, 10 Northeast, doing a practice R nav runway 23, be a low approach, Shelby County. You want to stay at 2500, don't you? Two, two more miles. And one traffic, one Bravo Tango is on the best approach. Starting to slow her down. Actually, I had her set for 2,600. But well, that would be incorrect. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to leave her because look where she is. She's right where I want her. All right. All right, fuel pump, full prop, bridge, lights are on. And final approach fix coming up. I get my first of flaps. All right, so now we're going to come down to 1,600. All right, coming down to 1440, I'm going to go 15. All right, so she's not going to hit minimums. Let's go. Ah. Autopilot.
Alright, there's minimums. Alright, got her. Minimum. Minimum. Shelby County traffic, 526, don't set a short approach. Be doing a low approach, uh, departing to the south. Shelby County. Alright, so they have new rulings now. If there's a traffic conflict between us and somebody BFR, we're supposed to break off the approach. Because we're doing practice? I guess. It's, uh, if you remember, we did that whole video on it was supposed to be working out. They came out with a new advisory circular basically saying if you're coming in and there's a conflict, uh, you should break off the approach. Uh, I guess if we break off the approach, we'll go right and basically do a, a right upwind uh, to leave. Right? We don't want to go left because that's where they're coming from on, on the downwind. Alright, where's my glide slope and my localizer? That set the localizer. Well, it just popped over to the... Cool. Alright, there's the glide slope, there's the localizer. I have the controls. Air controls. My controls. Let me know the next call. You're three and a half miles from the runway. Okay. Monroe Travis, that's a 2866 Lima turning left base runway 5. Monroe. He's going to come right in front of us. I, I don't see him. Monroe Traffic, 526 downstairs, 3 mile. Practice ILS for 5, Monroe. Okay, I got him. Adam, is he okay? Yeah, I should be. We know Travis, that's a 2866 Lima turning final runway 5. Yep. We're having a conversation with final runway 5, full stop, Monroe. Oh, he's not going to make final. He's way off to the side. I break off? Oh, you're good. Just the traffic jumper in the airport. Good. I'm saying he, the airport, just the traffic. he didn't turn in time for final, so he's just... Oh, he's trying to get it back. I don't want to run up his... Oh, you're good, you're good. Plus, you're not landing, so... I'm going a little slower than I want, just because... He's right over the numbers right now. Like, if you were landing, I'd say break off, but you're not, so you're good. It uh, looks like he's touching down, all right? Hi. Right. traffic, 526, does a short approach for 5. We're going to be just doing a low approach, departing to the north. Monroe. All right, we're minimums. Oh, right, right on glide path, lined up. Monroe traffic, 526, does a series on the go, runway 5, departing to the north. Monroe. Uh, if we were landing, that would have been a little tight. Yeah. Alright, there you go, there's Concord. Alright, we got, uh, yeah, we probably ought to head back. 25 minutes, 12 minutes. Alright, so flies back. Alright, controls. Controls.